This is the Nissan Primera P10 of 1995. We're going to make a reference analysis uh, for the interior seats of the front driver's seat that is having a very anatomic, according to the standards of 1990s, um, formation of the um, the down and the up formation of the back where we can see that we have an atomic um, formation to the description of the horizontal line about the spine and um, we can see the holders the cuppers to the left and right side and of course for the downside of the body we have a little inhalement into the seat from the left and right, from the right and left, from the right and left uh, upswings of the seat. Now, for reasons why of the analysis of the capabilities of the movement for the front seat of the driver, we have three main functionable and operational um, rounds. Um, the first uh, circular uh, leverage a point is appointing an actual uh, up raising and down raising of the down element of the seat. The second cyclical leverage is performing the actual um, again down department of the seat as rear up lifting. The first is up first formation up lifting. The other one, the second, is lifting the rear side of the back seat upwards. And uh, the third cyclical uh, leverage is climbing and declining um, the vertical side of the seat. Of course, we have the capacity to moderately adjust to the headrest. If we press, if we if we press down this uh, this button here, it can go up or down. We have to adjust in the right height for our head to be rightly supported for a for an in a sense, the emergency of a braking or a rear hit to the heart that will expose backwards our head. So this is the this description analysis of the front driver's seat. Moving now to the co-driver's passenger seat on the front. We can see that it has the same anatomic vertically and horizontally formation, only that here we are possessing just only one leverage, cyclical leverage, portal leverage, that is adjusting the vertical side of the cart forward or backwards. We can see that the clockwise movement brings the vertical seat to the front, the anti-clockwise uh, uh, torque to the cyclical leverage brings the vertical side of the seat backwards. And of course, for the rear uh, elements of uh, the seats, they are just um, unmovable. They're just strictly stable, only that we can have the actual belt, seat belt for the rear, uh, for the right rear passenger, backwards uh, passenger. We have the adjusting 
uh, inhalers to the bed shield the safety the safety base uh, I assume that we can adjust the height of the headrests uh, if I can check a little bit uh, I think that they are they are unremo unremovable oh, they are they are removable they can uh, heighten or lower they can become heightened or lowered okay let us find here is the button of the adjustment of the position if we press it downwards they're just declining okay and the same thing occurs for the other train left side of the car passenger seat that can we can adjust the headrest upwards or below the position of the button is here is here okay as you can see that we have an actual handrest that exists here we can deploy it downwards and the left rear uh, passenger or the right rear passenger they can um, both raise their hand on this uh, down falling uh, hand rest which of course performingly is re uh, accumulated into the verticality of this into the vertical position of the seat so either we have two rear passengers that they can have a hand rest or we can have three rear passengers of uh, the hand rest deployed on the vertical position of the seats okay we can see the audio head uh, the audio speakers and so it is a very practical formation of the seats uh, we have uh, seat belts allow me to to fix the rear seat belt here we have to uh, reveal the seat belt the seat belt was lost at uh, the climb of the seat position so now we have uh, revealed our left rear passenger belt which is very rightly formulated on its position and we have an actual uh, horizontal uh, seat belt probably for a baby or a baby carriage okay and uh, overall we have a very good view from the rear passengers to the front and uh, 180 degrees the same occurs for the front right passenger and of course for the driver's seat okay so we have seen thoroughly the interiors seats formation